Howdy guys, welcome back to another Mafia 2 Definitive Edition guys. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing alright. Alright, let's answer the phone and see you who ready? is. Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. All right. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Okay, so he's got a job for us. So, okay, let's go with this outfit. Ah, it's that hat that we had for the new style. Dang, you got. Oh, I guess that wasn't too far then. If he was calling from like all the way down there and everything. So, I guess that's not too bad. I thought he was like kind of far. Oh. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Okay. I was Head like, over uh, to Greenfield. What are we doing? Ooh. Uh, okay. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got it coming to him then. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Man, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last right. chick we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, what do yeah. you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Okay. So... Okay, we gotta deliver a message to some dude. I don't even have no clue. But we'll have to deliver a message. I am. Because, like, you know how they were saying, like, um. If he pro cooperated with the feds and stuff and is under protection. And, like, I don't have no clue. But. So, like, how long do you stay under protection? Like, say if you, like, you were, um, a witness for, like, a group or something, like, nine days. I dang. You good, dude? But no, like, say if you are a witness to a crime or something, and they put you in witness protection and stuff. How long do you stay in witness protection? Like, do you stay in it for all your life? And stuff or do they keep you in witness protection until like I don't know like for a few years and then they just let you off and stuff uh, like thinking that they forgot about you and all everything cuz like I'm curious now that remember what you gotta say right. yeah all right here we go then okay who is the guy that we gotta give the message to? Huh. 
Hold on. Hey, that's Tommy. Yeah, that's Tommy from the first one, Mafia 1, Definitive Edition. Mr. Oh. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Oh my god. Wow. Like I said, I don't see any. Not so Dark fast, look. Medium oh my Shit. gosh. Go, go! Go for it! Hold on. We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. Oh this is God. Agent Cox. We need police to go to Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Oh, go, go, Kaboom. Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. And he's famous oh, for convenient to leave out the details of that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. But, like, no, that's what I'm curious about. Because, uh, like, would the person stay under protection for all their life, basically? How the... How did any cop see me? Oh, fuck, that was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. $3,000. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, wish it was a little bit more, though, because I did piece off my money that one. Ooh. We gotta be careful of cops and stuff. So... We might have to get a different car. Just saying... I thought you were a cop, that blue car right there. Okay. There won't be a cop. Sorry I keep um, hitting my map and stuff. I'm just trying to look to see if there's any cops and stuff. Which probably wouldn't show me on here. Go, 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 go. Oh crap, there's a cop up here. And that cop's not turning this way. Good, good, good. Okay. Get out, get that car, and then let's get out. All right. Here. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come no. by my place when you're done. Okay. Oh God. I'll see Give you. Give me out of this car. Give me out of this car. No, I don't want to be here. My mistake, sir. No, my mistake. Uh, drive to check if he has some work for you. Oh, excuse me. All right, guys, we are here. Let's see if he, uh, Derek's got any jobs for us. Hopefully he's got a job for us that will pay very well. If he doesn't, then we're kind of hey. screwed. Vito! Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit down with the other bosses and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this dead bitch didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. So you win? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. All right. Let's go see if we can, um... Show them who's boss. Basically tell them to get back to work or else. It won't be pretty. God, These ain't. fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I had problems with them, you know. Well, 
know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, yeah. uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. Alright. Let's see how many there are, if it's too many. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here, and I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like he did, John. your voice now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking deadbeat. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin. Derek? Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at me. Why don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. It's time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow Crazy me, guys. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. So make the firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. You can end up just like your old man. So. I never trusted you. So he, they basically. Come on, pop your head out. God dang. So I got no bullets for that gun. Okay. Let's see if we can... Okay, we got... Oh... Okay, we got one guy. Now we gotta get Derek. Okay. We got another guy. But we did get, uh... That one dude. What was his name? I don't remember. No, so his name was Derek. So what, wait, what's that guy's name then? That we just shot there. 
hand. So, okay. When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. <coughs> oh God. You miss your old man, Vito. Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. <coughs> Okay, how is that hurting me? Like, seriously. Okay. Hmm. I guess there was someone behind me because I did see that, but. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. You so shouldn't be doing this. Let's go, Vito. You got your back. Get out of my spot. <laughs> Please. Okay, we're gonna go with revolver. <laughs> okay, how did I not get that, dude? Yeah, so I didn't get him. You should have been dead. You're. Hopefully, they're still okay after I can get. Like, hopefully, they're not. Dude. Oh. Mm. I swear, this. I don't know. These. Oh okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, hey, follow me, guys. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna move. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Okay, he should have been man. dead then. I'm sorry, but that dude should have been dead. And I got no bullets in that gun. He should be. De I'm sorry, but he should be dead. Like I just lit him up. Cause like seriously, I just put 50 rounds in that dude's body. Well, almost about 50. Cause like that's kind of stupid though. It's like it. Cause it's like the same way as the. See, this dude right here should have been dead. Cause I headshot him. See, hmm, I don't know this and watch. Okay. I'm going to have this. Um, we're going to shoot him. Okay. Now you, mm -hmm. okay. I hit him. Cause, okay. Maybe I didn't hit him. Maybe I'm just complaining. Maybe I'm just, maybe this game is the best ever. No glitches, no anything. This game is not glitchy, doesn't break or anything. Nope. It's just my aim. Yeah, because this game doesn't have no glitches or anything. Because, you know, this game is the best. Because this game is such the greatest game ever. Because, you know, because there's no breaking of the game like you know because that's every game right there can take basically 200 rounds and everything you know like that's the best game ever man you know when we done with you i'm gonna feed you to the rats Biggest mistake in your life. 
Because you know, even. You know, what people you can freaking basically get you think hit. You could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You're fucked. Mm -hmm. Sure. Buddy. We could still work this out of you. Mm hmm. I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Oh, my. <laughs> no! <sighs> How much you want to bet? I'm going to have to restart. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? Okay, the odds are even. All I have to now say let's teach that fat is fuck this a lesson. game right. is a Follow piece me, guys. of... This is crazy, fellas. You shouldn't mm -hmm. be doing this. Mm -hmm. Vito can handle himself. Mm -hmm. Extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. I am off right now. I'm off right now. Just like your old man. Cause you know, mm. I never tried <clears throat> from the moment I saw Oh, by the way, guys, I am not mad at all one bit. Nope, not one bit. <sighs> yeah, cause you know, people can totally got him take basically 20 rounds of bullets. <laughs> I feel like if there was an RPG, right, in this game. Or, well, technically, I should call it, uh. Pandas, um, something. Because that's technically what they had in it. But I feel like I could shoot a Godding rocket point blank right into their Godding face, right? And. They still get back up. Scotch free didn't do a single damage to them pretend like it never happened <clears throat> I bet you that I could do that and that's what irritates me about this game especially mafia one and stuff definitive edition I, I'm sorry but it seems like they broke the game more when they put it as a definitive edition. Like, seriously. How the heck do you break a game even worse, sir? When you try to basically fix it and upgrade it. How do you break it more? Like, that's my question. And then the thing is, and I'm not trying to say anything bad about this company or anything. But then they want to try to make Mafia 4. When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. You know what I mean? Like, they want to try to make Mafia 4. I'm sorry, but. I don't think I'm gonna waste my money on Mafia 4. Not until I know Vito, it's actually a, not too bad of a game. You know, I'm not going to waste my game money on a game like that. You're going to die here, Fido. Just like your father. <clears throat> because, I'm sorry, but no. I don't think I'm going to waste my money. On. I spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. But no. I don't think I'm going to waste my money on Mafia 4 and stuff. When they do come out with it. No. Um, not until I know it's not a... Basically... <coughs> See, like... <laughs> I hate this game. Whoa.
Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Mm, good for you. I don't really. I, I'm. You know, we can get things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw it will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I hate this game. <laughs> All right, guys. Well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip it from here, you know, just stop it and everything. And, well, not stop it, but I'm going to go get all the money and everything and then I'll be back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are here finally. Let's take the money up there to to Joe. I think to give back to Bruno stuff, which, because we already gave the 65 grand to Carlos. So we should be good. And Joe wasn't home. At first, I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Alright guys, well I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.